name is Faith and I'm a board certified lactation consultant and nurse and I would like to teach you how to do sideline breastfeeding with a newborn successfully. There's a lot of controversy about having the baby in the bed with you but it can actually be done safely if you respect some important guidelines. Firstly, um, by not smoking, neither of the parents smoking, the baby doesn't have a risk with a third hand smoke. Secondly, the parents must be sober who are in the bed with the baby. Also, the baby shouldn't be in the bed unless a nursing mother is in the bed with the baby. Um, formula fed babies should not bed share with parents because it's not as safe. And also the baby should be healthy and full term. Preterm babies wouldn't be good candidates to be um, bed sharing with parents. Uh, lastly, um, baby should be on the back, not swaddled and not too hot without covers over their face or head. Um, and no pillows under the baby's head. The baby must be on an actual flat mattress rather than a sofa bed or a recliner. Those are considered the um, most dangerous sleep surfaces for babies. In addition, um, no pets should share the bed with the baby in case they're territorial. And when parents respect these safety rules, it becomes very, very safe and even um, offers protection for the baby to be near the parents, in the bed with the parents. Uh, and breastfeeding certainly offers a lot of protection. Most mothers can't get any sleep unless they do lay on their side to nurse. So this is a great way for mom and baby to get some rest. So what mom needs to get this done is she's gonna need three pillows and usually two receiving blankets. Um, you always place the baby in the center of the bed. So for illustration purposes, pretend this is the center of the bed. You lay the baby face up and then very importantly, get the mother comfortable so that the milk can flow first. Um, so what mom's going to do is lay on her side, she's going to put one pillow between her knees and her ankles. This is going to alleviate her back pressure. Um, one pillow is going to go behind her back and that will prevent her from rolling. And then one pillow is going to go between her ear and her shoulder. And you want the pillow up out of the baby's way so that it doesn't present any hazard to the baby. Now baby is facing up, and I'll scooch the baby in closer to me. Um, you want the baby to have a very open airway for sideline breastfeeding to work. So in order to accomplish this, the baby's chin must be lifted like a baby bird so that they can open their mouth wide. To start out properly, a secret is that the baby must be eye level to nipple. And that way when the baby reaches up to grab onto the nipple, the baby has a nice open airway and open throat for swallowing, and the baby will be very comfortable and be able to go to sleep. Um, one arm must go under the breast and one arm must go over the breast like it's hugging the breast. So the first thing mom's going to do is tip back her upper shoulder to make space for the baby's arm and then trap the baby's arm under her breast. She's not putting the full weight of her body on the baby's arm, just a few ounces of the breast. Then once the baby's um, arm is in position um, under the breast in a hugging position, uh, mom's going to roll the baby toward her. What you want to do is make sure the baby starts out eye level to nipple. What's going to happen is the baby's going to start to root around. And when the baby finally reaches up and grabs on, the baby will be looking up at mom with a nice um, open airway. The chin will push into the breast, but the nose will float and that will allow the baby to breathe very well. Notice that my baby's nipples are pushed right into my body and my baby's chin and my baby's head is tipped way back. And um, if I need to help give guidance to get the nipple into the baby's mouth, I can pull up on the nipple like a drawbridge away from the baby's nose and then when the baby opens I can push it more deeply into the baby's mouth. At this point mom can make a roll out of a blanket and tuck it behind the baby's back, shoulders and butt. You never put that blanket behind the baby's head because by pressing on the back of the baby's head that will prevent the baby from having an open airway and being able to tip their head back. So in this case, when baby goes to grab onto the breast, the baby will tip their head back like this and be able to stay locked in place with this blanket here. And because I have a blanket behind my back, I'm not gonna go anywhere either and not risk hurting the baby. At that point, mom's arm is up and out of the way and she can just have some rest while baby nurses. The second receiving blanket can be really useful under the mom's breast. Um, to prevent milk from leaking all over the bed so that you don't have to change sheets as often. In the early days, moms um, leak a lot of milk, so that just keeps you from having to do a lot of laundry. And now mom can just um, comfortably sleep. Now let's say mom um, needs to switch sides. 
Um, when baby gets older, it becomes much easier to just tip the other breast down and feed the other side that way. But while baby's still a newborn, what mom can do if she doesn't want to disturb her partner on the other side of the bed is she can just um, get up and put her head at the foot of the bed and her feet at the top. And that way her partner doesn't have to move, but baby still stays in the center of the bed where there's no risk of rolling off the bed. Um, for older children, another trick that I've heard is putting a pool noodle under the, um, she the uh, fitted sheet of the bed to give the baby um, a ridge so that they know where not to fall off. And then another tip that I've heard is to put the entire mattress on the floor so that if the baby does roll off, it's not as big of a deal and it can allow baby to um, sleep really well with the parents for a more extended period of time. So I hope this is helpful and I wish you a lot of rest and a lot of um, nursing. And remember, the secrets are eye level to nipple and one arm under the breast and one arm over. Rolled up blanket behind the baby's back, never behind the baby's head. Good luck.